Stampers, and thanks for joining me today. Today, we're gonna be doing some magic. And you thought this was a Stampin' Show. Look at this. Oh my gosh, isn't that awesome? What is he to get? Look at Oh my gosh, so cool. Okay, so today's Stampin' Show is going to be Secrets of Magic Revealed. This is called the Magic Card, and um, so I don't have David's Blaine and Copperfield coming after. I'll just be teaching you the secret of how to make this magic card. This will be a two-part series. The first part will be how to make the card itself, and part two will be how to shade and color using Stampin' Write markers. All right, I know you're dying. I won't keep you in suspense any longer. Let's get started. Okay, we'll be starting with a sheet of chocolate chip cardstock, eight and a half by eight and a half. Bring in the paper cutter, line up, the four and a quarter inch mark. There are two blades here, the scoring blade and the cutting blade. So we will, so we'll make one score at the four and a quarter mark, and then we will slide out our arm. On the opposite edge, we're gonna do two scores, one at two and three quarters, and one at five and three quarters. Still using the paper cutter and the orange blade this time to slice. You see that scoring blade? Instead of lining it up perfectly, I am going to go a hair in just a hair, and we're gonna slice all the way up to that score line. And when this arrow hits the score line, you wanna stop and you wanna slide your paper over and do the exact same thing on this other side, just up to the score line, so the halfway point. Turn our paper, line up exactly on the line and the four and a quarter score, and slice off these two side rectangles. So we have a funky looking T. Next we'll be cutting a two inch by three inch rectangle out of the front. You can do this with your paper cutter and measuring really carefully, but I found a cheat for you. This is a two inch by three inch piece of scrap paper. Put a little snail on the back. Line it up exactly where you want it on the front. I'm going to take the paper cutter and the orange cutting blade and I'm gonna line up that arrow and this line down the middle with the edges of this white piece of cardstock. Push down and go all the way down till it, those two pieces line up with the bottom edge. That's just made a slice along the side. Then I'm gonna turn my paper and do the exact same thing on all four sides. Make sure you stop when you reach that edge. And then when you've done all four sides, this center should pop right out. You got your perfect rectangle in the middle and there was no math involved. I love that. Next, you can fold along these score marks. Your finished card, this center will fold up, and then your left side, and then your right side, so this will be your finished card. We're gonna take the banana from the Suck Monkey set and just randomly stamp that all over. Going bananas! You wanna cut off a quarter of an inch on this bottom piece. Once we get our outside done, we can put this aside for a minute. Enter Suck Monkey. He has been colored with the Stampin' Write markers. Be sure to visit part two of this to see how to shade with the markers. This is two and three quarters by four inches. I'm going to take a layer of, of Stampin' Up's window paper. It's very hard to see. I'm gonna layer this on top. Now the window paper is at least a half an inch bigger than the original. And I'll show you how to line this up perfectly every time. Stays on ink, very important on the window paper. Ink the monkey! Remember that song? Ah, oh, Peter Gabriel. Gotta love him. Okay, stamp your monkey down. You want to be close. It does not have to be exact. And I'll show you why. I'm stamping him on the window paper. Lift, and you're going, Oh my gosh, he doesn't line up! Don't panic! Watch this. I'm just gonna slide that window paper over. Perfect! Okay, take a little snail for an anchor. Line up your window paper. Now again, see it's slightly bigger. Bring your paper cutter back in and trim off the extra window paper. And when you're done, your monkey is lined up perfectly. You can't even tell that there's two sheets there. Next, we're gonna take the one inch circle punch and some real red cardstock and just fold that in half, bone folder or the scoring blade, whichever is fine. Put a little snail on the back of that and stick it right on the top. Then we're gonna bring back in our chocolate chip panel using the same one inch hole punch. Right in the center, I'm gonna pop out a little piece there. Take some of Stampin' Up's sticky strip, roll it right out on the inner flap. Okay, so we've got bottom section, then we've got one side, and then the side with the sticky strip, and it doesn't matter which one. 
Maybe it only matters if you're a lefty or a righty. Peel off that protective backing. So to complete this section, I'm just going to put a little eyelet in the top here using the crocodile. I'll be using the 1 8 inch eyelets, so I'm going to take the 1 8 inch hole punch of the crocodile, which is right here, and then I'll just turn it when I punch it so you can see how that works. See that just punches right in there? And then we'll be taking the metallic eyelets, any color works. I'll take silver. All I'm going to do is take, lay that flat on there and squeeze, and that will perfectly set our eyelet. Isn't that awesome? So I'm going to stamp it up as black and white grosgrain ribbon, string it right through here, and loop it around your finger for the finishing touch. Can you see this piece right in here? This is the magic piece. This is where the magic happens. You want your confetti panel to go behind it, and you want your window sheet to go in front of it. And when that happens, your confetti hides when the monkey's inserted, and then when you pull it out, there's your magic. So stinking cool. Isn't that awesome? Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. And there's your magic show for today. Thanks so much for joining me. Be sure to watch part one and part two to see both how the magic card works and how to color and shade your monkey using Stampin' Write markers. Thanks for joining me today.